Hello YouTube. So you join me on a special UK lockdown edition of the XL5 Turbo build. Um, right, so eventually what has gone down is I've found the right prop that I need, the right length that I need, the right part number that I need. Um, unfortunately, being um, second hand parts dealers, they took forever to get back to me. They only got back to me as they were leaving on Friday afternoon and then the UK went to shut down. So the prop is out there. Um, out there up north somewhere just can't get it to me now so um, who knows maybe they'll get back to um, back in the office this week highly doubt it um, doubt they consider their jobs as essential workers um, would be nice because then I could get the prop in this thing and I'm pretty much willing to modify the exhaust myself um, I just decided I'm going to bite the bullet and do some welding, order in some three-inch piping, and get it all done myself. And, and why not? Might as well try and get as much done as I can. So literally, the last things that we are waiting for is the prop, and then a custom exhaust. So once I got the prop, once I know which size CV ends the props actually got, because I can use either size, I can use the bigger or the smaller, um, put the right diff in, get the prop in, make sure it all fits, mount it up. Um, spin it back and forth, make sure the wheels spin, uh, or make sure it all spins free enough, I guess. You know, the wheels aren't going to spin until we've got power to the diff. Um, so, after that, I'll ball up the downpipe, chop open the downpipe, have a good look, um, tack up some bits, and then get it down. But now, the problem even with doing the exhaust is we need to get some stainless steel rod, uh, stainless steel wire. Um, and I need to get some three inch piping and I don't think any more new suppliers are going to be open. So this video may be quite a short video. Um, I'm going to video, I'm going to record what I can, show what I can. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, connect up the, uh, the new clutch pedal, uh, the new master cylinder at the back, connect all that back up, give you a, um, I'll do a, uh, a time lapse of that. Um, gives me a bit of something to show and then I'll just start hunting around for little bits that are left over to do um, I could possibly put the bonnet back on and put that the um, the air filter back on and get the rest of the engine sorted out I do need to um, I need to fill up the gearbox with oil once everything's together but I mean I suppose I can do that from underneath because I got a little pumpy thing that'll pump oil in so that's not the end of the world um, the only problem I'm wondering is if the garage is going to have enough heart to have the roof uh, have the bonnet open I'm not sure if it is we'll have to check that out because I will have to have the bonnet open at a certain stage um, if I do put it back on obviously because uh, the lambda sensor and everything's just hanging down the back so I'm going to need to get to it from that side um, yeah fun times time to scratch around and get things um just dig up jobs to do i may even do a little bit of touch up and some of the little bits of paint that's uh that's hanging about um might do a time lapse or two on those but yeah so let's get stuck in let's get things going
Okay guys, so after a lot of fiddling, that's uh, pretty much everything done. So what you saw me do was replace the little um, little water pipe that runs from the head down here. Um, that was actually broken, you can't see it, it's over here. Runs down under, under here all the way along to a little thing on the radiator and then to the header pipe, it's this pipe here. It's a massive thing um, that was broken before. Um, put back the air filter, ran the... Uh, Maf wires, ma uh, wires, and then uh, sorry, math wires, and then uh, just trying to get this as neat as possible. It's a little bit something's not quite right, yeah. I think this is a bit too high. I think it needs to go a bit further in down there just to settle it in because this was running over the top, and you see it's touching at the back there, so that's going to rub. Um, but yeah, that's the engine side of things pretty much back together or at least the the top end of stuff i do want to do some tidying up that i'll probably show i want to get some some sort of glue and hold this all up here this carpet's becoming all sagged i was looking at just taking it off and putting and replacing uh with heat shielding but it's an absolute nightmare to get to any of that um also clutch is all in um all all brake fluid and stuff's done it's all all good all ready to go um so we are just really waiting on parts now. So I'm going to do a lot of little things. I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff done um, just to keep the content rolling. Um, but I don't think we're going to make too much great progress while we're all on lockdown like this. So uh, yeah, let's have another look and then uh, get on to some better stuff. Right guys, unfortunately I'm going to have to leave it there because uh kind of run out of things to do right now. So um, a lack of parts and a lack of um, a lack of just places open have put a an end to play for, for this little session. But I have come up with a few more jobs I want to get rid uh, of doing while I've got no parts. So I'm going to do a bit of interior stuff, maybe a couple of things on the outside. Um, I have decided once I've eventually got the prop that I'm going to modify the exhaust myself, sharpen up my welding skills um see what i can do with that but yeah so we've got the frill uh engine bay together now um clutch is bled it's working it's not solid anymore so mm -hmm. that's good um other than that not much else to do so um until next time here's hoping that uh, you're all staying safe and you're all well so thanks for bearing with me